investments in the energy sector. A promised green deal. The strongest driver of uh, transformation. So green that recovers. We are in the midst of surfing of, of this uh, major transformation that, that is happening around us. The position uh, and, and the view we took on Europe uh, uh, in beginning of 2016 when, when we started this, and, and the, the fact that we thought uh, Europe would perhaps be the strongest driver of uh, uh, the transformation, uh, uh, given the Paris Treaty and, and its need for 80% uh, uh, CO2 reduction uh, and, and a very limited supply chain has really, really panned out to be very, very true. Uh, building up our own position in terms of uh, uh, both um, showing that we could scale and, and that we can do it in a very cost-effective manner. I think we have proven over the last couple of years that uh, the strategy, uh, the scale strategy, the vertical integration uh, added with uh, uh, the energy advantage up here uh, really proves that, that we were right on, on these uh, assumptions. Last but not least, we've also kind of proven that uh, the proximity to our customers in uh, Europe, um, that we have a really, really strong engineering team in outside Stockholm, and, and uh, uh, that cell design becomes more platform-based for the automotive industry rather than um, standardized uh, cell formats. We see that the different customers are optimizing uh, cell designs for their different platforms. It's really fitting us where we can co-develop uh, new products at, in, in large scale for, for our customers. So a lot of these assumptions have really given us a, a good position that we now need to execute on. We're constantly seeing new opportunities in almost everything that we're doing. Uh, if we take the, uh, the labs and, and the environment uh, where we, we're building you know, a strong capability to, to uh, develop both new active material as well as new cell, uh, cell designs and, and then, you know, uh, building large test facilities to do that. In, uh, in a future proposition, we would really like to continue building a campus, uh, a Labs 2.0, where, uh, where we bring uh, our customers and, and their engineering team even closer. Uh, we continue also uh, our development on uh, our recycling capabilities, uh, uh, you know, maybe even designing products for even higher gr uh, grade of, of recycling. Uh, but not at least that we also uh, start facilitating an, an innovation hub. There is very few startups uh, in the new technology, new battery space in, in Europe. And I think that is a, is a shame. Uh, if you look at most of these companies, they are in, uh, in the US, primarily West Coast, but some of them are also on the East Coast uh, in the Boston uh, area. And uh, for the long term, both competitiveness of, of Northwold, but, but not also for, for the European ecosystem, we need to facilitate that and, and to bring institutions, to bring entrepreneurs, to bring capital also to, uh, to this, this playground is uh, something we would like to achieve here in, uh, uh, in a five years plus uh, perspective. I think Maladol and Investoros could be a very exciting place uh, both to establish new companies but also uh, for the existing companies to, to de develop more based on our technology. It's a new tool in the toolbox for, for many uh, industries and I think we're just in the start of what we can do from this. The next 10 years will be an industrial land grab um, and uh, and uh, the one who is most successful in to attracting the, uh, the best people, scale up its production and, and uh, not at least also uh, bringing all partners, including the financing part of this, will, will be a winner. Mm -hmm.